welcome back so today what we're going to do is we're going to do the painting of our uh, tuscan raiders our sand people so um what i did to these was i took this guy's um he had his stick his weapon whatever that damn thing's called again uh anyway it should have looked like this but i took one of them off because this is going to be the guy that's on top of the mountain plus i took his little son with the same thing and i took his his weapon off but i glued it to the back of him so he's still carrying it but whatever i kept a stick in his hand i don't know why but he'll be on this side holding the net also and that so you always need a reference and grab yourself a picture maybe one of the characters i got this guy this is an 18 inch you know um model that they sold a long time ago I remember a buddy of mine had one of these back in the 70s when they came out ish kind of thing there's a date to it i'm sure even on this one this one is uh it's the lucasfilm and this was well this one says 2014 for some reason so this might have been a new this is obviously is a newer one but i remember he had a big one like this too when we were young probably more plasticky like rubbery this was hard it is missing a couple of the spikes when i purchased it um a little bit of paint wear still looks good so we're going to use it as a reference the basic colors of what we want so the basic colors of them is brown the difference between this guy let me just turn you to show you you can see in ours is the chest he has um where is he right there he has his pouches like on an, an x and this guy just has pouches i don't know if you can see that. let's focus that in um he just has his pouches like that so they're you know they're just like straight up and down different kind of a skirting too and all that not a problem because there's not there's only three colors maybe four with black there's a darker brown for the face with the leather uh and light brown and then there's the metallic silver for the breathing apparatus which uh our guys don't have on here for some reason which is okay i mean it's just for visual anyway so and then there's the guns the guns will probably just be black anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the dark with the light brown what we have is our light brown this is the lightest i have i could lighten it up even more if i added white to it but i'm not going to i want to see what it looks like at first so we're gonna add some of the paint to it and then I'll get it down to show you what it looks like. So in contrast of it, it's similar, not exactly, but it works. So always have your good eyes on you. And we're, we could just literally just douse the whole thing with our brown. And then we'll do the other colors individually, the more um, you know in-depth colors, like where we want to get to the precise i'll take every piece that i had and i put a uh, primer on it and the primer is for me is so that it could hold the paint uh, better uh, than just the having the normal resin to it so we're gonna start off by painting them fully up and we're just using acrylic paints on this one nothing special nothing complicated Gonna stay away from the weapons though because the weapons are different colors well maybe not like i mean you can, this is a light brown so when we add the different color to it it won't make a big difference it just gives it a little bit more coating there's the little onion they call it <laughs> i don't know what the hell the gra ga gaffy stick i think it's called that's what it is it's a gaffy stick i tried to remember stuff so like i said we're gonna do this feeling a bit better today not 100 percent, but enough to at least do a little bit of work on our diorama and we'll see what happens and then again like i said this stuff the, um, the acrylic paints dry fairly fast and if you want you can always add a second or a third coat if you don't think you, it looks good there is going to be a um a wash to it after okay so as you can see that's the coloring we're getting it a little bit a little bit different than our, our own but then again you know it's not a big change of what we want how we want to change our colors it's up to us i mean 
not part of Lucasfilms to do this. We also want to let it dry so that we can see like the, the tones if it's different. But again, it won't take long for this to dry. Very, very basic colors. That's what I like about them when we're doing dioramas. These guys are a base, very basic color. You now we dry brush a little bit of darkness on them to give a different look too. That depends on what it looks afterwards. So I'm gonna just finish this up and I'll get back. Guys. So we uh, did a little bit of work on our diorama. I think we're pretty much done. We just got to put it together. So I'm just gonna show you what I did was uh, I used a kind of green and a brown on it sort of to make it more, it does look a little bit greener, but it's actually not it from my side of the fence here. It's actually there. I tried to get some of the details in there, but then again, it's uh, gonna be um, placed on our diorama. I uh, also wanted to show you the Banta. The Banta, reason why he's got red on him is because what we did with um, Rancor was we gave him the blood on his hand and down his mouth and all the other little characters are there too. So what we need to do next is get our glue gun out. I wanted to show you the actual diorama itself. Let's twist it down here. So what we got done is we ended up putting our sand, uh, our sand and um, our colors to it. So you could see that I said I was going to make it sort of like a whitish, rockish. I think it turned out really nice. Uh, the the concept of it being rocky, kind of whitish brown. Some of it's going to get covered anyway, so it doesn't matter. So while we wait um, for the glue to heat up. We're just going to place our, our characters on here to show you what it's going to look like. So sort of like this. And then we'll have our big guys up here. And we have our small guy up here. And then we'll place our last two hunters that are for the diorama down on here. Um, they have, they are... The sand is really, really hard. I mean, it does kind of flake off sometimes, but it's not as not as much as you'd think. Um, and then we want to put our net, which will be this guy. And uh, we could either place it this way, so it looks like he's going to use it, or we could just place it this way, so it sort of looks like you know they're going to throw it on him, kind of thing. We're going to let our our glue gun heat up here for a couple minutes shouldn't take very long I think that looks good like that and so here, all right we'll start off by adding some glue to the bottom of our characters good amount of glue on there so they stay Then we'll go about putting our Banta in. Banta just needs the back end to be glued. This is going to be permanently on there, so. That. That should stay in there somewhat good. And then we'll put our Rancor. Again, same thing. We're just going to put glue on his feet. I'm going to have to invest in a better glue gun. Maybe a... These are dollar store ones. They work, but you can get really good ones out there too. Place him on there, like so. And also, we'll start off by putting the first one on. The junior will be next. I think that looks good. And then, of course, uh, the netting. What we want to do is put it sort of in his hand. So, we'll out this. I think we'll leave it this way instead. We'll also lay down some glue so that I can stick to the diorama. 
This way it doesn't come off for any reason. Alright. You know, you won't probably see as much as the net as if you're looking around it kind of thing, but then if you could add some glue to all the corners, that would work even even better just to keep them in place. You could always add some paint to get rid of that, you know, you could see maybe a bit of glue under the foot just so it stays under that foot so it stays. There we go. I think we're good. Make sure our rancor is there. He's nice and solid. Adding maybe just a little bit of glue to his feet. So we don't have any problems. All right. You know, and if you want, you could add just a little bit of goop coming down here. Give it that look that is he's uh he's drooling. How's that? A little bit hard to work with hot glue to do this because it just wants a string everywhere, but that's okay. We'll cut all that out when it dries. All right. Okay, guys. So let's uh, let's take a close look at what we did. Let me get you on this one. All right. So here's the final look of our diorama. You can see the two father and son are going to hunt. I guess. Everybody's looking for the rancor. Got the rancor that, you know, he, the, the, whatever his name is, fell in the pit. The rancor's taking advantage of it. But of course, they're hunting for the rancor. And you can see the detail that I've done in there. I think it looks really wild. The whole base of it. There's the netting that's going to go on them. And all the way to the back side. It's painted very well, too, I think. It, well, it's my style. Uh, you know, unfortunately, stuff like this I didn't cover up, but that's easy to fix. That's the hole in that, the, uh, when I did the resin, I could drill out, but that will fix that up. We got some blood around there. Kind of a brown, but a greenish kind of look to it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out really well. It goes to show you, he, you know, there's, you could do lots of stuff with dioramas and uh, they turn out good. So anyway, if I can do it, you can do it. Choose your own path, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, on to the next build, I guess. All right, choose your own path.